In this video, I'm going to be breaking down some money plays and money route combinations that you can use to beat the man-to-man -man meta in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody, and we do videos like this every single day. So if you want to get better at the game, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. That's just so that you can know whenever we release a new video. Also, if you want to know as soon as it comes out, make sure you turn on those notifications. Um, and then let's go ahead and talk today a little bit about the trips tied in. Now, I was in a player's lounge tourney and uh, got to the finals and was playing pretty decent but what i struggled was and the only defense has really given me any trouble lately is this blitz five send five look out of 335 wide against trips tight end and it's really been just kind of a major man-to-man -man thing as well and this is on both current and next gen it's basically a man-to-man -man meta at this point in the season and so i wanted to break down a nice little play that i like to run out of this formation to basically combat it and this concept you can actually i'm going to break down two plays for you today um the first one is going to be the pa shot wheel and then the second one is going to actually be this um if i can find it inside cross inside cross a great play if you don't have outside apprentice it also does still kind of do the concept that i want to break down in this video so let's just go ahead and jump out on the field here. I got my two plays in my audibles. I always come out in PA counter go um, just because that's kind of my base play. And we're going to move the ball back here. And I'm going to break down this simple concept that I have a lot of success with against man to man. So we're going to first start with PA shot wheel as it's my favorite play to use if I'm getting a lot of man coverage. And primarily because of this crosser to alan lazar now the way most people are running their coverage at this point in the year is they are running a cover one robber robber style of defense now um just want to quickly break down something that they're doing a lot of i'm getting this look a lot but it's basically this inside quarter and then they're going to have like a curl flat and a vert hook or something like this or they'll give you a send five look like this right here um this is kind of a popular defense as well or they might even take this corner and man him up on the running back um or just put him on a vert hook but basically something like this okay and like i said i'm getting a really like a lot of people running you know either you know they're gonna stand like right here or they're gonna stand right here basically and you know this can be pretty decent you see here that this play action doesn't always pick this up and you can see how the pressure is really effective so how do I like to combat it? Well, it's actually relatively simple. Um, what I like to do against a send five look like this, where we kind of have them essentially out leveraged to the flat. So even if they're taking this guy here and putting him in a vertical hook, or if they're putting him in man coverage on the running back, um, this will both apply. And essentially we're just going to go to PA shot wheel. We're gonna put Rod is scaling on a zig. We're gonna put the tight end on an in route. And then because they're gonna send five, it's kind of up to you. You can leave this play action. If you don't want to try to pick up the, the blitz with the play action, one of the things that I do like to do is put the running back on an out route. And then if I have outside apprentice, I'll repost that outside player. If not, you can just leave the post that he's already on. Just make sure that you smart route it. And what you'll see here is this little quick zig is one of the best routes in the game at just beating off coverage man. So if they're not pressing that zig and shading underneath, it's not going to work. And a lot of times what people have started doing is they're gonna drop this, this guy into coverage off of him because they know that this guy right here will cover him. Well, in this situation, what you'll get is again, it doesn't matter really the play that you run, it's just a simple zig concept and you'll see right here, the Zig does a really good job at getting outside. Of course, Jair on a shaded down vert hook can go crazy, I guess. But, you know, if I waited on that a little bit longer, that would have been open. But anyways, so that's kind of one of my key, key plays. Now, another thing that I like to do, um, and this comes from PA Counter Go, is to leverage the power of this rounded out route from the tight end. So you could do this if you wanted to from the play verticals, or you could do it from PA Counter Go. But basically, we're just going to leverage the power of this corner route or this out route, if you will. And then we're going to zig Vada Scantling. We're going to in route Lazard. And then we're going to skinny post and smart out the skinny post to Mike Evans. So you see, this is basically the concept. And then with the running back, you kind of honestly have a couple of choices. What I like to do probably most frequently is just put him on an out route. Um, you could also put him on a wheel route. Either one of these is fine. And what you're going to notice is in this meta where they're in the cover one and they're going to shade and do all that stuff. 
oftentimes if they're sending five, that means that there's not going to be anyone to help out in coverage. So you're going to have a safety kind of mismatch. And this is really something you still have this thing over here on the right. So let's say they put this safety in a quarter and now they don't want to give up the zig. So they're going to press and they're going to jam that zig. And then they're going to kind of go from here and, you know, do whatever they do. What you'll see with this, with this little concept right here is real simple, but we basically have this little quick route to the back. If that's open, we're going to throw that right now. What that is going to force them to do is it's going to force them to have to do something to get out there and guard this wheel route. Now, this is an only but a goody concept from trip side in right here, but this is one of my favorite route combos right now for the man to man meta, because what they can't do is they can't get out there. They, they literally, especially in this year's game, because the user is not very good. They can't get out there. So what you're going to get is you're going to get them to, you know, basically take this guy here, Savage, and they're going to have to put him in man coverage on the running back. And then they're going to have to put this guy in man coverage on the tight end. And now they're going to be kind of in this little, you know, kind of defense right here. Now, um, what they can do out of this defense is they can blitz still from here. So you, you can get a little bit of pressure if they know what they're doing. But what you'll see with this is this corner route is really, really effective. As you can see right there, I can easily throw that corner route with a pass lead outside against the man coverage. If you don't want to throw that corner route in, uh, in particularly, one thing you can do is you can put him on a smart route out route. So if you don't have tight end apprentice or you want to run a different play than what I'm showing you right here, you can just put him on a smart routed out route. And I find that these smart routed out routes, especially on like a first down and 10 situation where those can go about 10 yards, those are really good at beating man to man. Now the next thing that I want to show you is, and again, really what we're trying to do here is we're trying to force them to have to respect, you know, my routes over here on the right side. Okay. Now this out route from PA counter go, my opinion is one of the best out routes in the game. And I like to smart route it. And what you'll see with this cover one robber defense is a lot of times this out route you'll see just low ball it and it'll basically get wide open every single time against man it's one of the best man beaters in the game and that was shaded outside and underneath man to man so once we get them to have to kind of adjust a little bit i'm gonna show you one more time this pa counter go stuff in the press once we can get them out of being able to just send five every play um then things are going to be a little bit more of a chess match and i'll come back to that in just a second but what you'll see here is you know you've got your shaded you shaded you're out and you can aggressive catch that right on the cut if you want to uh, but that route's a good a pretty decent little read against man now the next thing that we're going to do though is if they're truly going to shade outside and underneath and they're going to do that and you're going to have these two routes that are going to be shaded outside and underneath you have to understand that the wheel route is going to be wide open so if that's the case your wheel um your wheel route to your running back will be wide open and if you have time to wait on this route to cut a field, you'll see just pass lead inside, going to click on and make a play. So that's a real simple fix. And it's really one of my favorite things because if they are truly going to shade outside and underneath, they can't play man to man on this wheel. What they have to do is they have to have something over here to help them. So they might purple, let's say they purple this guy, they man this guy up. And then now let's say that they're going to come over here and kind of help if you will, on this running back route. What that's going to leave on this backside is if they, if let's say, for example, that they blitz this guy and they inside quarter this guy or even man him up because this is the only way they can get pressure at this point. What you'll see from this, and we can do, and I'll come back to PA Shot Wheel in just a second. But what you'll see from this is now my zig is literally wide open on that side of the field. So I can easily just... Oh, their user goes right now. I'm going to turn my eyes to the left and hit my hit my read that way. Okay. So now what they have to do is they have to basically do this. You get them to a point where their defense has to basically look essentially like this. And then this guy right here can be on a variety of different coverages. For the most part, you're going to get a purple. Now there's no one over the top for the skinny post. There's no one in the middle of the field for the dig. And it becomes, it, does their user go right or left, basically? If their user goes to the wheel, you're going to look over here to the left, and this dig is really good at getting separation pretty quickly, I might add, against man-to-man. -man. As you can see right there, really good separation against man-to-man. -man. Now, let's say that, you know, again, you're getting these adjustments, so you're getting the purple here, you're getting a quarter for the crosser, 
you're getting this guy in a purple to help out with that corner route. You're getting some leverage over here. Now what you're going to get, and let's say their user jumps back to try to go guard the, um, the dig. Well, now there's no one over the top for your skinny post. And that's where you want to have your route tech or your short out elite guy. And as you can see, it's able to get separation against man to man. Now, all this is going to converge on this next concept. So now what's going to happen is now you put them in a position where, you know, they kind of have to at least kind of think a little bit more. So instead of shading outside, you know, and, and even if they are shading outside, they're going to shade outside underneath. So now what you're going to get is, you know, they're kind of used to coming over here. This is typically, you know, not really a helpful zone for what they're going to do. So what they're going to do is they're going to put this in a vertical hook. Maybe they still put the purple here. And now this can be a little bit more effective, some, some kind of coverage like this. And this is where PA shot wheel comes in. When they shade outside and underneath, number one, this wheel route is really good, but I'm not even gonna talk about the wheel route. What we're gonna focus on right here um, is just a simple zig, crosser, dig to the tight end. And then with the running back, what I like to do is put him on um, you know, a simple out route or a wheel. Um, you could also put him on an option route. This kind of just forces them to have to worry about him in man-to-man -man coverage. If you have a backfield master, you could put him on a, uh, a Texas route here. But what you'll see with this is now your tight end is wide open over the middle of the field because, again, remember, they've shaded outside and underneath. If you have a tight end apprentice, feel free to put him on a post. This is a great little way that you can kind of combat this press man stuff. This press man stuff is really, really, really hard to beat, I'm gonna be honest with you. And then I wanna give you one of my one more way while I'm thinking about it. So again, we, we talked about how we really want this user to have to come over here, okay? So we're gonna try, we're gonna show you another play where you can kind of take advantage of this, and that is the PA shot wheel play. And what you'll see with this is this is, you know, gonna probably have a purple on both sides. They're shading outside and underneath. We're gonna go to PA shot wheel, and our setup's fairly simple. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put the tight end on a smart routed in. We're going to put Devontae Adams on a skinny post. We're going to flat Alan Lazard, and then we're going to wheel the running back. So you see here, it looks just like this right here. And basically what will happen is they have to use her that wheel to the running back side. And if they're not careful, that wheel to the Vada scaling, if they're shading underneath every play, that will get over the top of that shaded underneath coverage. Now, why did I talk about inside cross? Let me just show you. If I audible to inside cross, this is for players that don't have outside apprentice. Notice I have a skinny post. I have an in route that I can smart route. And then from there, I can put the zig there. And then I could put the, the out route to the tight end. And you see we have reads and abilities to be able to beat everything that the opponent is going to throw away. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you're looking to get better with trips tight end, I have a full ebook on it in my Patreon membership. By joining my Patreon, you'll get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive guides. In addition to that, our weekly updates to keep you on top of everything meta. So if you want to learn how to get better at this game, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon membership. For only $10, you're going to unlock all of our ebooks, all of our site, all of our uh, all of our play breakdowns and everything. So if you want to check that out, that will be linked down in the description.